Everybody, it's Chris from Prepare My 101. Got something new to show you today. I don't normally get into axes and stuff like that. I just, I never use full size axes when it comes to hatchets and things like that. That's what I use Jess X for. That's what I'm comfortable with. Uh, there's nothing I haven't been able to, I have not been able to do with that that I would normally do with a hatchet. But I also don't put all my eggs in one basket, and I like to have different things. I do on occasion still use my uh, Schrad axes, my SCX, SCX, uh, or my SCX2 and 2L. Uh, but other than that, didn't really uh, have anything else. But when I was at Blade Show, I got to handle the CRKT Burler axe at the CRKT booth. So. I got an opportunity to review some more things for GoingGear.com and one of the things that they sent me was a CRKT Burler Axe. Now this one, I'll put a picture up here in a few, uh, I didn't really like the handle the way that it came, I didn't like, like the, uh, the color of it and it felt a little rough. So I sanded it a little bit and put some uh, Espresso wood stain on it. Now for a small, I mean it's called the Burler Axe, but really it's the Burler Hatchet, I mean if we're being specific, I mean that you can tell, unless it's an axe for very, very, very small people. One key thing to remember if you're looking at one of these things, if it's something you're in the market for, uh, they don't have the uh, leather masks out for them yet, so you can have a Kydex made or I had a friend actually make me uh, a nice leather one but that's something that's not yet they did the same thing on the on the uh, chogan tomahawks like those were out for a while before the leather masks were available so uh, i had a chance to take this out the other day with will will likes axes will likes hatchets so obviously i wanted to get him in on this video so don't go away we're going to check this thing out GoingGear.com, if you do pick one of these up, definitely remember to use the coupon code, which is PM101. That's going to knock 10% off of it. So I got Will here. I'm going to pass it over to him uh, since he's the more experienced person when it comes to axes and stuff like that. We'll both mess with it, but I really want to see what Will has to say about this thing. And let's try some stuff out. All right, so, you know, a small hatchet like this, you know, I really like them for, you know, the smaller stuff, obviously. You know, it's a small hatchet. But it's not like it can't do the bigger stuff. Um, I like this because of, you know, the cutout that it has. I can get my hand in there, you know, for real small, fine detail work. You know, if I'm cutting, carving, things like that. Trying to clear out, you know, like a spoon or something like that. Clear out, you know, the big meat around the, the spoon itself before I get into, like, more detailed stuff with knives and things like that. So, this looks like it is doing really good for something like that. Let's uh let's kind of come down on the on the hatchet a little bit, take this knot out right here. pretty good for clearing things like that just you know if I'm trying to set up an area for for some crafting things like that maybe I'm trying to plane this out start a self bow and I got a problem spot or something like that it's gonna do really good for it now I did try to come down on the axe a little bit more and down here I lost a little bit of control as far as you know precise cuts you know so you know staying right about here I was able to get that perfect little chop that I wanted right where I wanted it. <coughs> nice, nice. So, you know, this could be, you know, it could be a crafting axe. That's what I would more class it as. But it could be, you know, a pack 
axe that will handle the bigger stuff as well. So let's go ahead and try that. All right, so for something bigger like this, obviously I'm gonna take full advantage of the leverage of the axe and come down as far as I can. You know, Chris had that tape around here and you know, I really don't like that on any kind of hatched or axe or anything like that. Um, it's just gonna blister you up. So, you know, I, I'm glad that you took it off, to be honest with you. All right, so I'm stepping back as far as I really can, kind of do the full arm length, just in case I do have some kind of a miss hit. You know, I'm gonna be able to control that miss hit. And let's go ahead and start here. It's kind of a really bad place to start on that knot, but bad miss hit there. You know, something small like this, I'd rather be down on my knees doing it, but this is really doing a really good job. Yeah, I'm getting showered. <laughs> I've seen that. You know, with this, uh, the way that the handle is angled, when I'm holding on to it, you know, I am sliding down a little bit, but with the, the end of the handle being proud of the handle itself here, it doesn't feel like I'm going to lose the axe at all in any way. So I am glad to see that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so, you know, just 10, 15 wax there. Nice deep V. Take a little bit more time to get through the whole thing. You know, this is just a little, little, what I would call a crafting hatchet. I'm trying to do something that a big camp axe or pack axe should be doing. You know, something that's, if I'm really swinging wild, you know, I want two hands on something, you know. And you don't really have that handle on here. So I would consider this, like I said many times, more of a crafting axe, but it's a really nice one. I like it. You know, another thing this can do is, you know, help you process wood down to smaller pieces. You know, it's a hatchet. Of course, it's going to be able to do stuff like that. Um, and I was going to see just exactly how good it is at doing things like that. But, you know, every time we talk about processing wood down, people are always talk about, you know, well, you don't have to. And I agree with that. You know, I don't process wood when I'm out in the field. You know, the only time I ever do that is if it's really wet, you know, rainy, things like that. Just throw whole things on a fire. But, you know, for crafting cuts and things like that, maybe you need to split into something. Let's see uh, how this does here. So I'm back far away from it. So if I do have a miss hit, it's only going down in here. Kindling. You know, another thing you could do with axes, especially small ones like this, if you're trying to process firewood for some reason, is just treat it like a, a knife and just baton it. I think he's jumping all over the place, isn't it? That log's pretty bouncy. Yep. You know, from there I could say, uh, I'm going to make a spoon like right here, draw it out, choke up on this axe a little bit, start removing flesh of the wood where I need it. Plane out the wood, get it a nice flat surface to it. I think you guys get the point. You know, for a small crafting hatchet, you know, it's doing a, a bang up job. It's really nice. It's not too weighty in the hand. It's pretty balanced, you know, weight forward the way it should be. Pretty nice, I like it. All right, the big reason I had Will out here for this is I am just flat out not an ax guy. Everything that we're doing with this, I've taught myself to use Jessica Axe for. 
that's the tool that I'm comfortable with. So, I mean, I like this. I mean, if you're going, I, I think people that like axes will probably like this. So I just uh, sawed a quick piece with that, uh, the silky zoo bat, not the gold bat, the zoo bat. And of course, this is probably something you'd be doing in the woods without a well, stump, but. Beautiful. Yeah, I hate that mushroom slime or whatever the hell that stuff is. Yeah, yeah. I hate that point. <laughs> Does a good job. Make sure it work. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. You know, just really quickly with this hatchet, you know, I just fashioned a nice little point, took my knife, made some notches, you know, just like a tent peg, what have you. You know, that's another thing that this is going to be great at around camp is doing the small little chores like this. You know, that thing's so deep in there, I, I don't even think I can pull it out. <sighs> Took a lot, but yeah. Very nice. All right, guys, you know, we've done pretty much just about everything we can with this. You guys get the point of it. It's a pretty nice little crafting camp axe, what have you. Nice little hatchet. I'd say the two biggest things that you need to be aware of if you're thinking about purchasing one is A, they do not currently come with a nice uh, leather cover like that, and they do not come particularly sharp. So, really, if you have a work sharp or something like that, it's a piece of cake to get it nice and sharp. But you know, when I tested it the other day out of the box, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna have to sharpen that up. So, those are the two biggest things, and I'm sure. Very soon, uh, CRKT will probably have them for sale, uh, the actual custom leather covers. But, I mean, you can have somebody, Kydex, uh, Kydex one or, you know, whatever. It's just something that you need to be aware of before you buy it. But me not being that much into axes, I still kind of like that. I'm not sure that I would personally carry it because I'm just, like I said, there's other tools that I'm more yeah. proficient with. I mean, I carry... A 26 inch SA Wetterlands. You know, I'm not a huge fan of small little pack axes or pack hatches like this. This is really nice though. I mean, I liked it. Um, if I didn't have an SA Wetterlands, you know, I would pack something like this. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely compact. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's just not going to do the exact same things that a two handed 26 inch, you know, camp axe is going to do. But other than that, it's a, it's a damn nice axe. Right. One thing I just wanted to try since you can choke up to this thing real nice is just uh, seeing how it would feel if you did have to do feathers or you wanted to save the edge on your primary knife actually does a pretty yeah. fair job of it it's just being that it's it's wider than what you'd normally do this with a knife it's just a trick to make sure you've got the, the right angle a little bit of a learning curve huh yeah but considering that it's the first time I've ever done it those are nice and fine feathers so you get the point Can you stroke a feral rod with it? Yeah. Find something else. <laughs> Find a rock. And quick answer is feeling it, no. Unless you use the edge. And if that's the only thing you've got, it's like, wow, you really messed up, didn't you? What did you do? So, yeah, I mean, it feels pretty good up like that.
What is this, payback? Yeah, for shooting all those chips at me. <laughs> Pretty nice. You like it? Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's not something I would personally use. Uh, being I, I use Jessica X for everything, but yeah, I like it. I like that it's small and it's definitely can do quite a bit given its size. So there you go guys, that is our first look at the CRKT Burler Axe. Uh, again, got it from GoingGear.com, so if you do want to pick one up, I want to say they're in like the upper 60s range. So if you use GoingGear.com, use coupon code PM101, that'll knock 10% off. But other than that, uh, that's all we got for right now. I'm Chris from Prepare My 101 as well from Manus Outdoors. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Always check the description box below. Put a lot of links in there, uh, things that support the channel, and things that we talked about in the video. So other than that, see you next time.